What's up everybody? My name's Elijah. Welcome back to the channel. So, I mean, I'm trying to upload once a week to my channel, but just getting back from Christmas break and all, and uh, getting back into the schedule of going to school and doing homework uh, and all that has left me a, not very much time to film a video. Anyway guys, today I'm making a video on Gorilla Pods. So I've had one of these small tripods for like six months, so I'm not really sure why I haven't made a video on it yet. I think it's probably just because, you know, there was that like six months of uh, like when I just didn't like upload anything. You know, maybe it was that. So what I'm going to be doing today with the Gorilla Pod is giving you a general rundown of the features of uh, the Gorilla Pod. I'm also going to be uh, showing you some of the uses of the Gorilla Pod. Uh, some more uh, may be a little more unusual than others. And I'm also going to be going through uh, which kit uh, uh, for the Gorilla Pod might be best uh, for your camera and also where you should buy it. To start off with the features of this tripod, the tripod features actually uh, a ball head and a quick release plate. Basically, what a ball head is, it works very. Um, very similar to some of the joints in your body. It's, it gives it the most range of motion so that you can basically unlock the ball head and basically twist this thing all the way around. Pretty much the only way it can't go is like straight down or anything below about uh, 180 degrees in any direction. The quick release plate is basically something where um, you'll have like a plate attached uh, to your, the bottom of your camera. Uh, which you can clip on and off of the tripod very easily. This tripod also features uh, highly bendable legs. Uh, this is really useful if you want to uh, attach this to a pole or a similar circular uh, object. You can also attach this to um, like a fence or also if the ground you are taking a picture on is not completely level, uh, this is really helpful because you can uh, adjust the legs so that your camera is level on the ground. It also helps uh, the material they use uh, in the legs uh, also helps stabilize the tripod uh, when taking pictures while your camera's on the tripod. Now to move on to uh, the kits for this tripod and also where, uh, where you should buy it. Uh, the Gorilla Pod has three different uh, kits you can buy for it. There's the first one which is also the least expensive. All of these, by the way, have ball heads and quick release plates, uh, plus the highly flexible legs. Uh, the first one is the 1K kit, which can support approximately a kilogram, or about 2.2 pounds of uh, payload on uh, the tripod. The next kit, which is the second most expensive, the 3K kit, can support up to uh, 6, uh, 6.6 pounds, or about 3 kilograms on the uh, the head of the tripod, which is the most uh, common uh, kit used for uh, DSLRs and um, uh, lower and uh, just heavier cameras. And the next to the kit, the 5K, which is really just meant for uh, the heavier cameras. I haven't really seen a camera that actually requires a 5K kit, but it's just out there if you want that uh, extra weight capacity on the tripod. The package I would most recommend buying for your camera is probably the 3K kit, because one, it's this, uh, in the middle, uh, so that you won't have to upgrade it, and it supports a, a decent amount of weight, so that's 6.6 .6 pounds, and you likely won't need that uh, 5K kit, because, I mean, who's going to need really like uh, 10 pounds of uh, weight capacity for the tripod. Uh, so, honestly, don't get this tripod new because these things are really durable. I could probably chuck this thing out like a brick wall and it would do hardly anything to this. Uh, and so I would get it used on like Amazon or eBay for like, and you could probably find it like $40, $40, $50. Uh, you just want to make sure you're buying it from a reliable seller. So the final stage of uh, this video uses for this uh, tripod should be fairly short because most of the uses for this tripod are, are uh, more obvious than just unusual. I would say there are three main uses for the Gorilla, Gorilla Pod. So I say the first use is probably for uh, holding your camera on the end of this and holding it out 
uh, as like a selfie stick or something so that you can film yourself um, easily. It also makes your camera feel like it weighs nothing, so that's pretty helpful too. Uh, the second use is um, obviously just wrapping this around different objects uh, to stabilize your camera where it might uh, not be so easy to stabilize your camera with a normal uh, tripod. The third uh, and final main use is if um, you have a spot like on a rock that's super like uh, uneven you can uh, make your camera more level because if you're doing like long exposure photography or um, like a uh, video you want to be uh, rather stable you can take the legs and like kind of um, mask the shape of the rock uh, using the tripod's legs and that will make uh, your camera a lot more stable so I've used this like another time I mean I've literally like put this like on my head and then like walked around and uh, just like while I was filming it was like kind of funny uh, I mean I'd probably upload that to YouTube but I think I deleted that because I thought it was stupid so guys that's all I had to say about the gorilla pod if you enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel plus also click the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time